Ted Geisel was an American original. He entertained uh, generations of children and uh, adults. We're not going to see the likes of him again. Theodore Seuss Geisel adopted the name Dr. Seuss during his senior year at Dartmouth, where he served as editor of the school's humor magazine. One spring evening, he and some friends were caught drinking gin in his room by the dean, who then removed Geisel from his editorship and said he could no longer contribute cartoons. So, of course, Ted Geisel continued to contribute, but using different names. And one of those names was Seuss. Ted married Helen Palmer in 1927, and the couple moved to New York City. Before Seuss was a famous children's writer, he was a famous ad man. He did advertising for many companies, and in fact, that's the way he made his money for the first 20 years of his children's book career. Geisel's first book, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street, was rejected by every publisher he showed it to. He was about to throw the book away when he ran into a friend on the street. His friend said, oh, well, I'm with Vanguard Press, so uh, show it to me. And the rest is history. Geisel put children's book writing on hold in 1940 to draw political cartoons. He attacked racism, he attacked anti-Semitism, he attacked fascism, and the isolationists who said, this war wasn't our problem, we need not get involved. At 38 years old, Geisel was too old for the draft, but he was committed to helping the war effort. On January 7, 1943, Dr. Seuss became Captain Theodore Geisel of the United States Army. He became part of the Information and Education Division and took charge of the Animation Unit. In 1957, Geisel was challenged to create a new reading primer that children would enjoy more than watching television. Geisel would have to contain the book to 225 words. So Ted took this list of words, all unrelated words, and he ran his eye down just looking for something that rhymed, and there was cat, there was hat. Boing. The success of The Cat and the Hat launched the beginner book series for Random House. Geisel served as president of the new division and edited Are You My Mother and the Berenstein Bears as part of the series. Seuss's own contributions to the series are his most popular, including Green Eggs and Ham, and One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. I think what makes a book a classic is pure excellence, and his books certainly fall into that category, but I also think it's because people want to revisit them again and again. While his work was booming, his wife Helen had been struggling with health problems for years, but by 1967, there were other strains on the relationship. Ted Geisel fell in love with Audrey Diamond, and they had an affair, and Helen found out. And in the wake of that knowledge, and also because she felt like she was no longer the woman she was before those illnesses, she killed herself. Then Audrey, later that year, divorced her husband, and the next year married Ted Geisel. In 1984, Geisel was awarded a Pulitzer Prize for his special contribution to children's literature. I got this wonderful note from him saying, see, I'm not just a kid's writer, I'm a people writer. Theodore Seuss Geisel died on September 24, 1991. His books have been translated into 20 languages and inspired feature films and a Broadway musical. Theodore Seuss Geisel had a voice unlike any other, and that voice of Ted's echoes in the head not only of every child who has those books read to her or him, but to any adult who has had the thrill of reading them. And it was a thrill to have known him.